For unknown reasons, the director calls Shirley to inspect those balloons, and the next day, the director asks Boxo for a task that requires his invisibility. Hence, he is placed in front of the Hunters Association to spy on criminals. Whereas Lamis starts to search for him, but that's where she realizes that the director took him off. Moreover, she tells Minami that today she'll be helping the Hunter Association so she could get to meet Boxo and would return with him. The way this enemy is going, I won't be surprised if Lamis falls in love with a vending machine. Later that day, Sori and Lamis start to fight as Sori calls Boxo a jerk for not showing up today. Well, at this point, they are fighting right in front of Boxo as he is invincible. Furthermore, Sori starts to offer money to Lamis for selling Boxo. However, Lamis doesn't intend to sell him at all. It quite flattens Boxo to see Lamis holding him dear to her.